everybody! I'm here today to talk to you about a wet dry vac, otherwise known as a shop vacuum. I'll specifically be answering the question of how does a wet dry vac work? And I'll be going over an easy shop vac demonstration. Let's get right into the video. As you can see right here, this is my rigid wet dry vac, also known as a shop vac. They sort of use interchangeably those terms. And all shop vacs pretty much work in the same basic manner. Some have certain, uh, certain like extra features, like some will have filters that will clean every so often, so you get cleaner air and so forth. But at the end of the day, their basic use and their basic functionality is gonna be the same. So very, very simple. I'm going to explain it and then I'll sort of show you how the air circulation works. So essentially, you're going to have an inlet where air goes into, it's sucking air in through the inlet. And you're also going to have an outlet where it pushes air out of. In this case, the outlet is actually over here, pretty cool feature. The outlet is over here. So the air is going in through here and then it's coming out through here. So when you plug it in, this one has a, a plug on this side. When you plug it in, okay, when you go and you plug it in, it's much longer, it's all stored in there, just so you know. When you plug it in, okay, there's actually an air unit over here that will provide power to suck in air through here, through the inlet, it'll pass through the inside, and then the air will escape through the outlet. This allows you to use the shop vac as a suction tool, like a vacuum, or even a blower, if you want to do yard work and stuff like that, or just to blow things away, okay? If I take the hose, and I clip it to the inlet, and I turn the shop vac on, this will be a vacuum, it will be suctioning, okay? On the other hand, if I were to clip it to the outlet, and turn the vacuum on, this would be blowing. The air would be going in through the inlet and it would be blowing out through the attached hose that's attached to the outlet, okay? Just so it's fully, fully clear. Now, the way that we accomplish the vacuuming and the clean air into the atmosphere is as follows. The inlet will lead into the catch basin for all of the dirt and dust. So in this case, the inlet leads to the lower half of this unit. And in the lower half of this unit, all of the dust is stored. You can see right here, all of the dust is stored in the lower half of this unit. So essentially, let's say the hose was attached to the inlet and I turned on the shop vac. I would be suctioning up all of the dirt, dust, and debris, and it would end up in here. It would just fall down in the lower half. Then what would happen is that air, so the debris gets left over here, that air then passes through a filter that you can see right here, okay? So the air passes through a filter, and once it goes through the filter, goes up through the filter, it then goes out through the outlet over here. So it escapes through the outlet, and you get filtered air in your atmosphere, okay? So that is essentially how they work. Now, like I said, Certain shop vacs will have extra features in the form of, you know, like it'll tell you how much life is left on the filter. It'll show you, you know, there's like lots of extra features that, that they might have, um, but the basic functionality is the same. They suck in air, leave the debris in it, the, the, the debris, leave the debris and dirt and dust in a catch basin, and then they blow out, the air goes through the filter, and then it blows out filtered air into the atmosphere. So you get clean air back into the atmosphere, and as long as you maintain your filters, you change your filters, maintain them regularly, um, you should have relatively clean air entering back into your atmosphere. And it works really well because I've sucked up lots of dust uh, this is a relatively new shop vac, but with my old shop vac, I sucked up lots of dust and it always spewed out clean air, which was great. As long as you maintain your filters, uh, whether you're replacing them or cleaning them. That's it. That is essentially how a shop vac functions and works. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.